made it. I'm gonna take a knee right here. Oh, hey. Whew. Hey guys, welcome to week two of e-learning. Now look, I know you guys are stressed out by a lot of things, being cooped up together with family that, that you love. I know you love them, but they're driving you crazy. and Maybe you're driving them crazy too. And I know some of you are watching your little siblings as well, and you're also having to get your work done. I get it, it's stressful. Some of you have even been sent out into the middle of nowhere to keep you safe from all this, and new environments are stressful. Me, I love it. I even have someone to talk to all the time who can't ever get sick. Right, Jibo? Oh yeah, that's right. I'm on a mountain. <laughs> I do feel for you, those of you struggling with this, because even I get antsy sometimes. And, and so here are some helpful tips, y'all, for those of you getting a little stir-crazy with cabin fever. One, look, create yourself a daily schedule. It doesn't even have to be that specific at first. Make time to hang out with friends and family online. Look at making a schedule will help you pass these days with less anxiety and stress. Start a journal. Half of your teachers are asking for them anyways. Pick a time for your schedule and try to do a little each day or night at the same time. Fit in you time where you do nothing except what you really want to do. Play your games, but make sure you don't get lost in them. Try to get up earlier than you have been. Look, your schedules are all over the place right now. And guys, there's gonna be times when you stop and realize, man, I'm stressed out. But with a schedule, you'll go, oh, look at the clock. 10 minutes, I'm having an Instagram hangout or a Zoom class. I don't know, but the clock's gonna keep you sane. It's gonna keep you sane. So try and plan everything. Plan like eating lunch. Plan when you play games. Plan when you rest. Plan when you do some reading. All of it's gonna help you get through this. So, it's pretty therapeutic. I do these videos. Look, they're one of my daily plans. I get up, I write a little, do some grades on Esby. I really look forward to doing this kind of stuff and it's because of the schedule. I go for a walk with my wife and dog almost every day at the same exact time. I'm telling you, it works. And y'all are gonna need it. You're gonna need to find your zen. Cause this is far from ending, guys. If we were walking up and over a hill, and the hill is this pandemic, we here in Florida, we've only just begun the hints of the first incline. So just remember that metaphor I told you at the beginning of the year. Every hill or mountain you approach is always tough to start. But no matter what, remember that once you reach the peak, that climb was all a learning experience. And then you can excel down the other side. There are lots of mountains you're gonna have to climb in your life. Sadness, hardship, loss of loved ones. So the best thing you can do is pay attention during that rough climb. Focus on you, focus on how you feel, why you feel these things, and then get good at climbing. It's gonna be a rough few weeks here, guys. Pay attention to events. Pay attention to how you feel about them. Pay attention to all of your feelings. Don't ignore them. If you hurt, figure out why you're hurting. If you're great, also figure out why things are great. Look at how you love, look at how you cry, look at how you smile. Pay attention to yourself and you'll get better at climbing. And then when that next mountain approaches, the one that disappears out of nowhere, you guys know what I'm talking about. You look up at it and say, all right, it's gonna be rough, but guess what? I've become an expert on climbing. So be safe, everybody. And today's code's words are, bring on the next mountain. See y'all, heading back down the mountain.